Hey, what is good, YouTuber? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond David Thompson. I've heard a couple people say some good things about this David Thompson. I know he does have D Books jump shot base, so I know his jumper's decent at least. I think he might be a decently fun card to use. Decent release, good athlete, solid enough defensively. He's only 6'4 at shooting guard, but I think he'll be all right, and I'm interested to try the card out. So before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the um, 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily My Team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's check out what this David Thompson card looks like. So six foot four at the shooting guard position. He'd be much better if he was a point guard shooting guard, in my opinion, but oh well. 97 offense, 9, 90. Defense 98 driving layup, 95 mid range, only an 85 three ball. That's not insanely high. 94 free throw, 98 driving duck, 86 ball handle, 85 pass accuracy. Defensively, not horrible. 85 block, 80 steel, 90 perimeter, 80 interior, uh, 96 speed to a ball and excel, 98 vert, 88 lateral quickness, 88 strength, 98 stamina. Honestly, I'm not totally sure how his defense is 99 defense looking at those stats, but. He does have Hoff Acrobat, Fast Twitch, Posterizer, Hyperdrive, Challenger, Chase Non Artist, Clamps, Glove, Pick Dodger, Pogo Stick, Bunny, Precision Dunker, Whistle, Blow by Speed Booster, Rest of Gripper, Bulldozer, and 94 Feet. Good mix of finishing, playmaking, and defensive badges on Hall of Fame. No real shooting stuff, though. And when you look at the gold shooting badges, it's all like Corner Specialist, Claymore, Green Machine, Guard Up, Mini Magician, Slippery Off Ball. Like, not great shooting badges. Bailout Handles for Days, Unpluckable Anchor, Interceptor, Post Lockdown, Brick Wall. Like, he's a really good card. He's got pretty good interior ability for a wing as well. I wish he, was, I wish he wasn't 6'4, but he's missing. Missing all the key shooting badges, Agent 3, Blinders, Dead Eye, Limitless Range, that type of stuff. And I think that does kind of hold him back. Only 6'4, can't get a move, can't get a movable enforcer, obviously. Um, like mm -hmm. I don't know. There's some flaws for sure, but there are some things that make me think eh, pretty intriguing as well because he is a pretty good, pretty versatile defender. Um, that escape is nice. Is that Steph's escape? That's really, really nice as well. Um, so that's that's a W between the legs. Burst feels really, really solid. Like I think he's he's looking good so far. I'm not gonna lie. Same side burst is nice. Um, yeah, not bad. I wish he had a better behind the back, better drag back, but I can live with what he's got right now. The release is fast. Wow. Mm. You know what? He's better than I thought. I'll give him that. He's better than I thought. I think movement's pretty decent. I think athletically, he's really good. I think his release is nice. I think with some added shooting badges, be a pretty good card. I just wish he could play point guard. He'd be a lot better. Like a 6'4 point guard is a lot more viable than a 6'4 shooting guard right now. There's just less elite level point guard options. I mean, the best point guards in the game are 6'6 six, six SGA, 6'6 six, six Lonzo, 6'5 uh, Harden and Reeves. Guys like that are the best point guards in my team right now. This card at 6'4 with very capable defensive ability would be a really good PG, but at shooting guard with 6'6, six, 6'7, six, 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 ruling the game and the ability to do everything like eh, i don't know david thompson good card but i'm a little worried about his actual online viability at the shooting guard position against the best of the best unless he's fully badged out and is it really worth fully badging out a pink diamond probably not but at the same time he's better than i expected he would be and i'm excited to try the card out so let's hop into a game let's see what david thompson the skywalker can do all right, we got ourselves a heck of a matchup here, and I'm basically pretending that David Thompson is my point guard. I'm putting SGA guarding Scotty, and we're going to leave Scotty uh, SGA off the ball for the most part. That's my ball start of the game. This dude's got James Harden, Scotty Pippen, Sean Marion, KP, and Tyson Chandler. That's a great, great team. Really, really good squad. Highly competitive, um, and I think we got ourselves a good matchup here. He also switched his Harden on to David Thompson. Here we go. So we're basically just out here pretending that it's Harden versus David Thompson at point guard. That's what we're going to pretend in this game right here. Good pop. Nice shot. Dude, if this card could play point guard, I would be so much higher on him i really would six four is just small at shooting guard man and he is a capable defender he is a versatile option like i really do think he's a good card nice release with shooting badges he's really interesting there too that's a good behind the back this dude clearly knows what he's doing using harden properly getting to the rim but dr questionable euro step and does not get the result that he probably wants david thompson out in transition is mainly an athlete that's his best attribute draws a lot of defensive attention underneath the rim and there we go nice assist and he's got two quick assists playing very well to start off this game i'll take on both ends of the court to start this one off so let's see what we can do go underneath the screen here because we can definitely go under against Harden. we're good good d now we play back out on that we're good He's going to probably try to try to escape. Oh, good same side burst. Very nice move. Very nice shot, but he misses the shot. And I'll hedge out here. Come go get go get out there as well. Oh, good move. This dude's actually very, very solid. Very capable player. Yo, Tyson, put your hand up. You got to contest there if you just put your arm up. And then d -Rob doesn't even want to try to rebound. Tyson just grabs the board for him. Um, that's unfortunate. Good move as well. But look at David Thompson undercutting it defensively and getting at least a little bit of a contest. It wasn't immaculate defense, but it certainly wasn't bad against, obviously, an exceptional level defender or offensive card. And James Harden. Um, swing it back to Thompson. We're going to go pick and roll, and I'm going to quick slip the screen here, uh, throw it at his face, and I'll take another assist. If I don't wind up scoring a lot, 
this game, I'm kind of okay with that. This is turning quickly into a competitive type game. Uh, this dude's definitely a very sweaty player, very much knows what he's doing on both ends of the court. So this is turning into a really good game. That is great defense though. I baited him right there with SGA. Got a nice little stop. And there we go, dump down again, dump it over back to Tavid Thompson, same side burst, drag back. Um, he's going to try to reach in at some point. I, I'm sure he is reaching. I knew it. I knew you were going to try to reach. I just tried to get to my moves as soon as I knew who was going to try to click on. Uh, and that worked out very well. I know he's going to click on and try to reach at some point. He's in that off ball. And then as soon as I put the ball on the floor, he's going to try to reach for it. And then he's going to click back to the off ball. There we go. Got inside of him. Get What are you going up for a layup for? You're one of the most athletic players in NBA history and you're shooting layups? I do not know about that, David Thompson. But okay, he makes the layup. Two points, three assists. We will take it so far. Now, watch the back door or the behind the back. I know that's what's coming the back door oh let's go tyson man 50 tyson playing d swing it one more catch sga i probably low-key should have just held on to it with uh david thompson but we'll same side into this and then we're gonna reject the screen and we're gonna see if we can crab him uh back it out does david thompson have pro oh my can you relax on the reaching bro catch and shoot come on david i know that's one step deep he's still greened it let's freaking go four point range apparently and he's still greened it without limitless range because his release is actually putter this card's tough he's tough he's better than no bro if he could play point guard he'd be so tough because he actually is good he plays defense good freaking pop good shot this dude's not this dude's not a bad player i know i've been playing amazing defense this game in all honesty i've played great this game this dude is a very capable player i just realized i was up 13 to nothing i didn't even realize what the score was before that but i'm playing pretty amazing uh that was a good take as well to be honest he just got a great block animation blocked a front clutch i don't know what to tell you about that one uh step up on harden again we'll contest harden good defense let's go watch the back door we're good yep good d good d good d it's bad. That's amazing defense. I really like this David Thompson card. I would love this card if he could play the point guard position because he is so nice in so many different areas. But you know what the one area he's not that nice in is? Shooting. He's just not elite. Although, he's hit two threes, including a four-pointer. I mean... He's not, he's not elite in size either is the one other thing. Like his movement isn't extraordinary either, I wouldn't say. I like this card a lot in a lot of ways. There are some things that I wish were a little bit better. I will say that. Um, the size could be better, but like you can live with that. But at the point, you can live with it so much more at the PG spot than you can at shooting guard. Why do I have slashing takeover and open lane in that small of a green window? Should I have greened it? Yes. At the same time, should that have been that small of a green window? Absolutely not. Never, never, never. Good move. Good. This dude is. This dude's having one of those games though. This is a, this dude's clearly a sweat, but he's having just a game where nothing's quite working the way it, while he wants it to. It happens to me too. I knew he was going to the behind the back, and I still couldn't. I know that's the move he's going to, and I still can't do much about it. That's annoying, but it is what it is. Um, behind the back for me as well. Let's go up here, attack downhill, get to the rim, and there we go, David Thompson. That's the green one that I'm talking about for a slashing take, elite level slasher, and he finishes that one very, very well. That's the athletic ability that I'm talking about with David Thompson, not the fake contest to get a stop. Good D. Oh, we. I'm surprised that ball didn't deflect off of Tyson Chandler. It looked like it almost glitched through his body, but I guess I'll throw it up here again, uh, and we're just gonna see if I can get uh, if I can get Harden just on my hip, just a little bit. We can get downhill. Now we can get downhill with LeBron. Now we reset it back out. I know you're trying to. I know, I know, I know, I know what you're trying to do, but it don't, I don't care. I don't care. I do not care because I'm going to go score anyway. Uh, hit my pop, catch and shoot. You don't got D for me. Nope. <laughs> Let's go. Good game, man. We have played very, very well in this game. And David Thompson's been a huge part of it. This card is so usable. It's just disappointing that he's a point guard. It, it really is. Like, he would be so tough at the shooting guard. Or at, it, it, it's disappoint, so disappointing that he's not a point guard. Because he'd really be so tough. But I, he doesn't have a spot in very many people's lineups at the shooting guard position. Because there's so many dang good shooting guards. Is it worth spending a lot of mt or money to try to like badge out this card the answer is no he's a very good viable reward i just drew a foul two points i was trying to get a stick dunk there and i shot a double step back instead i will take the foul call i guess though hoff whistle not going to complain about it free points 100 free throw nice smooth free throw release and david thompson is just just absolutely dominated this game he played a great game against a very very sweaty opponent with a very good team that's what you love to see what the heck? Um, and yeah, we wind up winning this game. 13 points, 3 assists, 4 of 5, and 2 of 2 from 3, including a 4-pointer with no shooting badges added. This David Thompson is that man. I wish he I wish he could play the point guard so bad because he would be the best. Not the best, but he'd be one of the best. He'd be such a good card, but... He's still a really solid option. I'm very impressed by this card. So, hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, very, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace!